I put cleats on the bottom, so uh, I, you guys gonna see me rocking this pair this year. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Miguel Rojas uh, from the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, gonna be playing shortstop this year. I'm pretty excited to be back where my MLB career starts, and I just wanna show a little bit uh, what I have my, on my locker. So uh, you guys, you guys know that uh, I'm a guy who likes shoes and. Uh, one of the things that I do, I like to bring the basketball kind of environment to my, to my locker. And uh, that's why I have a lot of basketball shoes here. Uh, one of my favorites that I made this year was this one, uh, DJ Khaled. Um, love the color. Uh, I put cleats on the bottom. So uh, I, you guys going to see me rocking this pair um, yeah, this year. Those? I'm going to be wearing this, yeah, during the season for sure. Um, Got some little little blue right here. Blue is my favorite color, so I'm I'm really excited that I'm back with the Dodgers and uh, I can actually rock some uh, blue wow, stuff. The inside is like, uh, I mean that that, that like bubble yeah. or whatever that is. In there. The, That's sick. the the colors the colors on the inside is really cool, but the shoe is really comfortable as well. A little bit heavy to play baseball on, but uh, I really like these uh, these colors and it, it's it's gonna be worth it to wear him uh, once in a while during the season, for sure. So I got some, uh, I got some stuff like for the, for like for batting practice uh, during during uh, BP. I wear shoes like this. Uh, I like to express my uh, the things that I like to do off the field. I like to express it through my shoes. So uh, I like basketball. I like uh, MJ, and I have my own collection. Um, obviously, uh, Kobe Bryant is a big ins inspiration here in LA too. So I have to bring the Grinches. Uh, for my cage stuff, when I when I hit in the cage, when I when I go outside to uh, to catch some ground balls, uh, you guys you guys gonna be me uh, see me rocking these uh, these Kobe's. So uh, some other cool stuff that I have here. Uh, Mookie is a Jordan guy, and I'm I'm a big Jordan guy too. So uh, he uh, he has been giving me a couple pairs of his uh, of his own collection. So uh, I'm excited to be rocking the uh, rocking the Mookies with the 50 on it. These fives are fire, just clean white with a uh, Dodger blue. Uh, one of my favorites so far. And I've been using it in spring because they're mold and um, it's a little bit easier on my body and to get used to, uh, to playing games again. Another from Mookie, a couple years ago, I was playing for the, for the Marlins. And uh, I mean, I'm not shy when it, comes to, uh, when it comes to shoes. And I asked one of my teammates, Sandy Leon, to ask Mookie if he can actually give me a pair of his, uh, of his Jordans because, uh, I mean, I go around the league and the Jordan guys who knows me and I know that they wear kind of the same, the same size, um, I asked him for shoes. So here's a pair of Mookies uh, from a couple years ago. Really like them and uh, I keep it on my locker all the time. I love those. I yeah. Love those. So uh, Chicago's are kind of my favorite ones. You know, I think they go well with everything and um, like I said, I, 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 I try to inspire people to show their character and the things that they like to do. And I'm passionate about, the, uh, about basketball. So these Chicago's, um, I wanted to put cleats on the bottom too. And I think they look really good with, uh, with the Dodger blue. I heard you say uh, in an interview recently, like you, somebody asked you for uh, like style advice. And I think you said something like, let your shoes mm -hmm. be kind of like, what, what was that again? Right, yeah, yeah, I, a lot of people ask me about like, okay, what is, uh, what is uh, the best advice for you to, uh, to someone who wants to look good? And I, I always say, keep it, everything else like really clean and simple, you know? Um, I mean, use something plain on top and then let your shoes be your flex. Uh, that's, that's what I always uh, will say, because uh, I mean, if you're gonna wear a, like a bucket hat or something like that, it have to be, cl uh, have to be simple. So people is not looking at that. It's more, it's, it, 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 the, the thing that is gonna cap the attention of everybody is gonna be the shoes. That's, that's me and that's a, a good advice. I think if, you, if you're plain and you're like all black uh, with not that much colors on top, I feel like your shoes are gonna captivate the attention of everybody. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, got a couple headbands that are sometimes I, I rock. One with my logo here. Um, I make this play back in uh, 2020 um, and I, I make the logo on it. So um, I've been actually getting some cool stuff from, uh, 
from a different brands. I got the logo on the shorts here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Legends, uh, this brand I've been working with uh, the last couple of years. They've been sending me really, really cool stuff. So I got some gear with my logo in it. Uh, it's really cool, man, when you, when you do something in baseball that helps you kind of uh, create your own brand. It's always, it's always nice and cool. As you, as you guys see, I like, the, I like the blue color with the neon green combination. And I have some batting gloves too that are uh, kind of the same vibe, you know. I always try to keep it um, kind of the same, like clean and simple, but with some, some of the colors that I like. And you guys can see I got, I got a lot of blue and neon green on my, on my locker. So these batting gloves kind of are in the same, same kind of vibe. Oh, wow. Same with this, you know. Uh, cool. Franklin uh, always got me with the, with the style batting glove and I like to express my, you know, um, my the, swag. Now you got the tat on the, on the arm too? Yeah, like, so, uh, so I, just, I just got this new ink. Um, it's actually my first tattoo and um, I did it because, uh, so I changed number last year uh, from 19, that is, that's the number that I, I, I wore kind of my whole career. I went to number 11. And the number is special for me because uh, my family, I, I, sum, I sum up my family under the number 11 because uh, that's the number that I wore when I was growing up. And my grandfather and my mom and my grandmother always took me to a baseball field. And uh, the, I remember that they, they watched me play with number 11 kind of my whole career, my whole life. So uh, as soon as my, my grandfather and my mom passed last year, I wanted to do a tribute to them. And that's why I, I got this number right here. So you guys gonna see me a lot when I hit singles, doubles, or I hit a homer, I probably gonna be pointing to my number. Um, this is a, a little tribute to them and a way to keep him with me every time on the field, off the field. Um, and I think it looks, it looks cool. Uh, people from uh, Custom Numbers Leaf been sending me this the last couple of years. I think that's, is, this, is, this is a thing that, uh, that, uh, that I think is swaggy as well. Because um, it got it got your number on it, different colors, white, uh, um, light blue like this one, and I can actually pair it with this pair of shoes. You know, I try. Fire. Like I say, I try to uh, to combine some of some of the things that I like to use, which is a uh, arm sleeve, uh, batting glove, and shoes. So uh, that's how I keep it. Uh, does the arm sleeve like have a performance benefit to it? Uh, not really. It's just a it's just a thing that I that I use always on my right on my right arm. Uh -huh. um, not not really using for performance. I use this for 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 style, you know, and and to um, I don't know, man, to to uh, look good to play good. That's that's what I that's what what I always try, you know. Like I'm I'm try, I'm trying not to be uh, over the top with that, but uh, um, there's certain things that make you feel good. So might as well you, you just wear it and use it. Uh, gloves are um, my big on, 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 on gloves as well. But uh, this glove right here, I feel like I, I put a little bit more of color for the glove that I don't use during the game. So uh, this kind of this th this kind of colors are, are the ones for, for batting practice and, and when I'm taking ground balls outside, I always keep the blue in the in the mix because it's uh it's what i like to uh what i like to express so this little glove i've been having it for a long time wilson make a make a really good uh, little glove for me so this is a glove that i practice with smaller um i actually focus on on catching the ball every time on the same spot not using a big glove so then when i use my gamer which is here um see the difference on 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 size, yeah. I have so much glove when I play the game. So I, I like to practice with this one. So then I get my, my big glove, my, my gamer, and uh, that's when magics happen, you know? Yeah, that is, won the gold glove last year. I know, I feel like, <laughs> I, feel like I did whatever I could, you, you know, did. to, to you deserve it. So you, uh, you deserve it. I, try, I try to keep doing the same thing and be, being the, in the conversation is, uh, is good enough for me, you know. Uh, I mean, winner is going to be huge because uh, I've been a Omar Vizquel follower and, and he's my idol and he won 11 of them. So I will be happy to have one at home after my career is over for sure.
So um, Wilson has always been uh, really good for me. My whole career I've been with Wilson. And um, this paddle glove, what, what do you use that for? So yeah, I, early in the morning, my day, my day uh, start with a routine that I use these these two gloves, you know, the the, the kind of the pancake glove. Um, I put it on and I do, this, do some drills. You you see the um, this mark in the middle. That's what I wanted to catch the ball every single time. And um, I use this glove first to actually feel feel my hands, feel that I'm that I'm focusing on on catching the ground ball every time on the on the packet of the glove. So um, uh, that's what I use it for. Um, I started my day with with these two gloves, and then when I use my big one, um, it's goal time. It's game time. Your gamer. It's yeah, the oldest thing you have in your locker, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I mean it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of old. It's it's not that old. Uh, I started using it. This one started using last year oh, because okay. I, I got a, I got an older one. It looks a little bit older because we put a lot of lot of stuff on the glove, you know, yeah. and you play every single day. And I mean, it goes it goes through a lot. I think it's uh, your gamer. You have to take care of it. You have to put a. Uh, um, leather conditioner and and stuff like that especially when it's dry in like in arizona and 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 los angeles as well but um i mean i i take care of my glove as much as as much as i can you know i don't use it as much on, on the field for practice so i can keep it um clean and i can keep it uh in, in a good shape for for the whole year how many years until you got it just right like uh, this particular glove for well a year and a half before i start using it in the game for me to use a, 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 a glove in the game, I need to trust it, you know, and I need, I need to trust that it's, it's soft and it's the way I, I like it. I like my glove soft. That's why this one, I think for me, is perfect because um, it, it took a little bit of time to get, it, to get it this way. And it's really hard to get another glove that is, is the same. Even if it's the same, uh, same brand and same colors and everything, the two gloves are never kind of the same shape. So. It's really hard to find the, the one that you really like for the game. What is that model? It's a six, 1786. Okay. That's, the, that's the model that I always use from, from Wilson. Yeah. 11 and a half. And uh, one tip, if you guys want to know, the blonde leather breaking easier than any other colors. So that's why I, I use, I always, you, you guys are always going to see me using a, a blonde on the inside because it's a little bit easier to break in. Because you don't, they don't have, they don't, they don't use any colors to make it a little bit stiffer, you know. That's a little tip for you guys. That's a great tip. I actually, I've heard the opposite about black. How black makes it stiffer. Yeah. So that's, that that checks out. For sure. A um, couple more things. Uh, you guys, you guys know I got my big collection. So every time that I come to the field, um, I try to rock a, a nice pair of Jordans. Uh, Jordans is what I've been wearing every day for the last, I think, three years. I haven't wear another another shoe that is not a Jordan shoe. Even if I go to weddings, I wear like a really nice pair of Jordans. Which ones? What, what last wedding, what, what, what Jordan? Last wedding I went, I used uh, at the Trophy Rooms once, uh, Chicago's. So it got kind of the MJ uh, signature on the side of the shoe. Uh, really cool shoe. Um, I, I think it's nice and, I mean, it's presentable for, for if, if you go to a wedding, I think it's a really good shoe to wear with a, with a short kind of um, tuxedo or something like that. I, was, I, was, I want to talk to you guys about my bat as well. Uh, I think uh, from bats, I'm, I'm really picky. You know, I always trying to swing the same model the whole year. I'm not going back and forward too much. As soon as I find a, a bat that I like, I like to swing it um, practice and game. So you guys see that I like the painter a lot. And... Uh, this is, this is how my gamers look like. This is a uh, MG9 model, which is Marwin Gonzalez from Victus. Um, I like to swing at 33 and a half, 31 and a half. Um, lizard skin is there. And it's not a better feeling than having like a game, like I'm game ready, but which is like, I don't know. I, I like it dirty like this, you know, because it's new one looks nice. But I, I don't think this bat is ready to play in the game yet. You know, he needs to get, he needs to get some reps. Like, I gotta draw attention to the, the Barry Bonds cross earring too, because mm. that that is I think the swaggiest item of all. Right. No. When did you start rocking that? Uh, so this off season I had surgery on my wrist. So next day I think I was uh, still under the influence of the 
of the pills and all that. And I said, you know what? It's a, I think it's a good time for me to, uh, to pierce my ear. And um, I always wanted to, to have it, but I didn't have it right away. And then I was just, uh, started looking into it. And I, I, wanna, I wanted to find, find a, like a nice piece. And I remember Barry, and he was my hitting coach in Miami. And he wore it to the field one day. And I think it's, uh, like you say, it's one of the swaggiest pieces that, that anybody can have on the field. So um, that's why I got it. And I got it this whole season. And it's going to be my first season playing with it.